Hey guys, it's Carol, and thank you for stopping by for my stitching update. It's been a hot minute since I talked to you guys last. Um, sorry about that. I have been busy. It's just been a very hectic month, and this is the first time that I could sit down and film a video. So I have a bunch of whoops to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. For my Sunday stitching, I have been using a series, in fact, called Sunday Stitches from Heartstring Sampler. This is Be Thou My Vision. Here's where it was last time. And this is what I have today. I finished the stitching on the word waking, started on the lines above it. I'm just gonna kinda go to the top of the pattern and start working my way back down. I am using the DMC conversion that is provided in the chart. And I love this purple. I don't remember what color it is, but it really pops nicely against my fabric, which is a 40 count r, &R Reproduction Star Hollows blend. And I just, I haven't put a huge amount of time in this one yet. As when I sit down, I usually do about three lengths. I am doing one over two. I use about three lengths of my color and then say, okay, I'll put it down until next week. My sampler focus right now is Modern Folk Embroidery's The Fruit of Plenty. And I'm still working on the February card, unfortunately. Uh, I just, I didn't realize how much progress I'd made since last time. Here's where it was. And this is where we are now. I like said, still working on the February card. I didn't realize how much I put in. I don't really write down when I work on these, so I had kind of lost track of how much I had actually picked this up in the last month. But working on filling in this side, have the heart that's in the middle of this particular motif. We now have all of our 20 to be seen. And this one is just, it's, so lovely every time I pull it out and this one has a tendency to go with me in public um wrestling matches kids lesson like anywhere I'm sitting on a sideline but I'm gonna be there for a while this has been kind of going with me no real reason but everybody who sees it loves it like I have never had such a positive reaction to various like projects that I have in public like I have this one so I mean I will say though isn't it gorgeous I love this piece so much. I just wish I could stitch it faster. I'm just not great at that. Oh well, but I am um, just kind of toiling along. Um, I do think back a little bit and go like back in May when I was like, oh, maybe I can like try to aim for a finish this year. Uh, yeah, that would require me to actually stay on task. Mm -mm, that didn't happen. Like, I'm 9% I'm of the way through the project by the way, when I like calculated it up, but whatever, like I said, um, I am gonna, this is gonna be like my focus one. I did look to see what the stitch along for 2023 from Modern Folk Embroidery was gonna be. I didn't love it. So <laughs> I'm giving myself permission to basically treat 2023 is the year to finish this. Speaking of things I plan to finish in 2022, uh, Mirabilia's Autumn Queen, I had mentioned this earlier this year, it's gonna be my focus piece, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say, like, it's mid-December, I'm throwing in the towel, I am not finishing this year. I, it had become kind of like the piece that I just did not, I don't wanna say it was taking away my stitching motivation, but it kind of was. Like, I just, I think I burnt out on it, um, particularly because I've been trying to fill in the whisper and I'm not realizing I probably should have done that like as I went along instead of leaving these big holes, but whatever. Um, I am happy with my progress. I just wish that there were more. Here's what it was last time. And this is where we are today. I have started going, filling in some of this I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's like this like strap across her bot. It's like coming from the top down. I don't know what it is. It's not entirely clear, but started filling it in. So I got kind of the side here. Uh, I'm also working her cloak up. And I told you I was filling it. So like all this whisper, it takes, I don't wanna say it takes forever. It's like just not my favorite stitching. Um, but I, again, the effect looks fantastic. It's just, I should not have left this big area to be filled. So that is something, in fact, I'm taking on for my other Mirabilia that I'm gonna show you here. But I do love it. It's just, when I was trying to make this like, I will finish this this year, it was too much. Not so much, but I mean, I could. It's not a huge amount of stitching I have left. It's just, again, 
when I don't want to, I can't make myself. So it's a hobby. I shouldn't have to make myself, just as a side note. But here's where we are now. I mean, I'm happy. Uh, I do anticipate, so I've set a relax, relax goal. Then I want to get this done by my birthday, which is in June. The other problem is, it's obviously the middle of December. We put up all our Christmas stuff um, starting at the beginning of Advent, so which was right after Thanksgiving. So I haven't really felt like doing autumn things. All the leaves fell off the tree, it got cold, um, and I really wanted to do Christmas things. So real holiday came out instead. Here's where it was last time. This is where it is this time. I told you that I learned from Autumn Queen about filling in the whisper. So there's a little bit of whisper here in the top of this glove and I started it. So the other part, this project does not use a lot of white. The white all through her cloak is whisper. It's a lot of whisper. It's three cards worth according to the chart. So instead of me leaving it for late, I am doing it as I go along because I learned. So anyway, I did uh, enjoy, so I started getting the red up here for the top, like this is her shoulders. Finished off the glove, have her bodice done. I just, it. this one feels very Christmas. I've been really enjoying stitching on it this week. Like, cause it's really, this one's for the last week and a half has been kind of my jam. So it is my focus for this week, just because it's Christmas. So in November, I, the full coverage that I was working on was Autumn Chapel. I didn't get a lot done in this, but just because I didn't prioritize, but I did get a little bit in about 500 stitches. Here's where it was last time. And this is where we are. So obviously I'm still parking. I, I'm happy that I'm parking on this project. I'm enjoying it, but I don't know that I would do it again for the next one if I weren't doing this pretty strict diagonal, as you'll see, I'm basically filling in blocks going this way, which is why it's five deep, which is why I know I did about 500 stitches. Still not a lot of, it's still trees, just different color trees. So um, this red is really coming in and this beautiful, like burnt gold, like it's, Nobody else in my household can tell what's going on, but I can. But I do love the colors. This one is so much fun color-wise. And I'm at, like, I didn't realize how small the pages are on Custom Crafts. I think they must use the same charting software as Hade because the symbols are the exact same. But they definitely blow up the charts way more. So it's only about like 55 stitches across as opposed to a Hade is like 80 across the short side and these because these pages are printed on a landscape orientation so the page break for this is like right here as well so it's not a huge page um but i'm like oh, okay that's kind of cool so the problem i didn't really consider when i was like okay i'm going to do this diagonal is so i'm going to be like in a page here still back on this page and still like so for each diagonal i'm like oh this is going to be dropping across like three different pages but since i'm really only i mean i'm not wandering far with this It'll be fine, but I do hope to get this at least one page done soon. Um, this one's probably going to go on hiatus though for a little bit because I have a new start. That's a full coverage. Yeah. Um, so my sister, I'm going to just make a side note. So my sister has gotten back into cross stitching. We both learned as children. My mom cross stitches, my grandmother cross stitched and she hadn't done it for years and i don't remember what she saw but she just really really wanted to give it a try again and she fell in love with full coverage like legit so i had pointed her the direction of the full coverage fanatics group on facebook i'm not active but i am in there um and told her about the hate design well she i want to say texted me right before halloween and said hey there's a sale and i might be interested i'm gonna totally buy the mini mini interior of ten turn abbey and i was like no kidding really um i have been looking at that chart on and off since it was released in 2017 like i love that picture and i just haven't committed basically because when I bought Winter Kiss, 
back in 2016. I bought two other charts at the same time that I now realize I am never gonna stitch. So I've been really doing the whole like, don't just buy charts on the Hade website because they're there, buy them because you're gonna actually do them. Well, in this case, my sister basically provided the excuse of, they're on sale for Halloween, you need to get it. And I, because I mentioned the part about I love it, so we decided we're doing a stitch along, the her and I, and we started it on Thanksgiving. And she's way further along than I am because she's only has two projects going right now and I have a bazillion, but I couldn't resist a new start. So this is my last new start of the year. And actually I've kind of maxed out the number of whips that I'm willing to carry around. Probably have too many whips, but that's another video. Um, but I did start this. And so this has been the full coverage that I've been spending the most amount of time on. And I have completed the top row what page one. Okay, I'm very excited. Um, I am using Stitchy Mommy's typewriter method. Just, I'm really enjoying it because I don't have to think. Like that's one of my problems. I can sometimes spend so much time thinking about what I should be doing next that I don't get things done. Or then I feel a little like burnt out on a project because I do, one of the things I do like about cross stitch is when I do it right, it's kind of mindless. When I do it wrong, I get so stuck inside my own head, I just wanna put it down and walk away. So I was really surprised that by like me picking up like a color here, I like by the time I got to like the color here, actually a bunch of these were already filled in cause it's just sky colors. So there's, I think I've used like six or seven different ones, but they really, they fill in very quickly. So by in the wings you start dropping down in rows, you're not having to pick among the 80 stitches here. There's like, in this case, there's four left in this row. They're all the same color. So it starts filling in really fast. So there, I mean, this project so far, there's some confetti, but it's definitely not as confetti heavy as like other full coverage, my other two full coverages, which actually are both pretty confetti. Um, but it's just, this one is, I mean, it's not very interesting right now because it's literally just a sky, but my sister, had, she, so we're sending pictures back and forth to each other. She is down here roughly. So she's down in uh, the like rows 40 to 50. And you're actually starting to see the tree line come in and you can distinguish that these are in fact clouds. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be like my focus full coverage for a while cause it just really, really enjoying the time that I'm spending on it. I am doing it on a 18 count ivory Ada that I got at Hobby Lobby because they sell them as uh, fat halves for reasonably cheap. So, um, and when I get the fat half, I can easily get another one of this size out on the, um, what I have left over. But I just, I'm really enjoying the two over one on the 18 count. So, and because this one, this one is roughly the same size as Autumn Chapel, the, it's um, 315 stitches um, tall. The other one is like 292. So they're roughly the, about the same size, which is why I was like, you know what? I want this to be kind of a statement piece. So I'm okay with it being a little bigger as opposed to doing it on like 25 count. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I like statements. And so my last speaking, you know, for, um, new starts and having too many of them. My last video, I also had a new start, which was Teresa Winsler's Fall Carousel Horse. And I was at the very barest part of that start. So here's where it was. And I just realized that I didn't want to leave it there. It seemed a little too not going anywhere. I couldn't, felt like I wasn't putting, had put almost no effort. It was like a new start just for the sake of a new start. And I was really excited about it. So I didn't like that I didn't have very much done. So this is what I was doing the week before Thanksgiving. And look at it. Oh, this is like, I mean, it's not a huge amount more, but so the saddle I'm really filling in. This is like the blanket and this right here is the mane. So the one thing I didn't really account, and I know I mentioned last time, like tons of blends, but the sheer amount of quarter stitches. And so I'm like, okay, this looks really cool. No, it looks really cool when you put the back stitching in. Like the, so it's like a rope detail for the edge of the saddle. It is amazing in person. Like it looked cool with just the stitching, but the back stitch just pulls it together. And I realized that 
I am kind of drawn to this is that the style is a little different than everything else I have. Like the heavy use of back stitching is not something that I feel like you necessarily see in a lot of more modern charts. Um, this one's obviously from the 90s. I'm gonna say that the copyright on it is like 92 or 94. Can't remember which. Um, and you can get all four of the seasonal carousel horses on patternsonline.com. Um, they're like not that expensive. The PDF is not the most legible, but I am j it's, I just love it. Like seriously, this is so, so cool. The use of colors, like within here, there's like, I think four different blues and the use of blends really does make the gradation, the shading so amazing. Like, I guess I, I didn't really, know how this was going to work out until I started like really doing the more colors and just love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, it's not, it is slow stitching for me. I like doing like the, all the quarter stitches and making sure that I'm getting everything just right. But I'm like, legit, like if I had to say like the one that I feel most accomplished when I'm done with stitching, it's right now this one. Like I, if you're the type who likes really detailed type work, I recommend it. It's so, so cool. Um, and I have this on a 32 count antique white Belfast linen. So the color, it's, I guess I was going for, it's a neutral background. The horse itself is a dark chestnut. I, I haven't started filling that in, but it's, it's just, oh. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I'm waiting for my blending filament to come in so that I can start doing the uh, carousel pole and kind of work towards the toe. So I'm working up, the horse's head is somewhere over here. Um, I'm just kind of working that direction, but as I'm like running into things, I'm kind of doing it literally as I go along. You'll notice everything is pretty connected. It, there is so much detail I don't want to get lost. But again, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it, I'm so glad I started this. And then the last project that I touched this month is Consider the Lilies by Heartstring Sampler. Now this one I picked up and put down, picked up and put down, picked up and put down. So I'm not gonna even pretend there's a lot of progress. So here's where it was last time. I did no more on the tree. So I realized one of my problems is that as the sampler goes, like, yeah, I kinda wanna do this motif by motif. Problem is, this tree is huge. I mean, it is the big piece in the center. So I was just was feeling a little like, I don't wanna say overwhelmed, but it felt like, okay, I do a leap, but I wasn't get anywhere. So I realized I was pretty close to, there's this really cool antique looking vase over here, planter sort of thing. And my vision was to try to get it, the entire motif done. And it just, it wasn't happening and I don't know why. <laughs> because I wouldn't, I actually was more like, I'd pick this up and be like, oh, I'm really gonna go work on Fall Carousel Horse. Pick it up. Oh, now I'm really gonna go to work on Royal Holiday. Uh, Tinter Nebby, like it's more of a, it just wasn't calling to me. But I did realize I'm like, okay, you know, once they started doing like the different motif that I think that what I'm gonna do is try to not really worry about the tree in the center for right now. I'm gonna just start filling in. This is actually even still, it's a pretty good chunk but there's a bunch of like, there's a couple up here that are more like this size. So I'm gonna basically do this motif by motif and I have, I've let go of the idea that I'm gonna get it done before my next birthday. I think I mentioned that when I like first said, oh, I'm starting this, it's my birthday start for this year. And that it was gonna be like, I am not that fast. And I'm not that fast because I'm not that disciplined. And that's okay. Again, it's a hobby, but it's funny how I set goals for myself. And then because I set unrealistic goals for myself, I end up undermining myself. So I will say that one of the things that's been really nice about the last month is I loved working on this. It's, I wanna say like three lengths of floss and said, you know what, I'm good. And that was it and like it was perfect. So that's kind of my lesson for um, this last month has been at least a decent takeaway and I have been getting better about like tracking. Like I know what I've actually done over the last week because I've been noting it. Um, but it's really helpful because I am working on my 2023 plans, which I'm gonna share in my next video along with Whip Parade. So I'm gonna get that done in the next week. 
So I highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button, do the notification so you know when I post it, and then I hope you come back and see me then. So in the meantime, have a great week. Take care. See you then.